Okay, here we go. Here we go. Get in there. Get the phone in there. Max power. Okay, can you get it? Yeah, you got it. Okay, ready? Uh-huh. Oh! 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 I'm Joshua Bardwell. You guys are going to learn something today. A new thing has been floating around the internet about a way to get more output power out of your DJI goggles, taking them up to 1,200 milliwatts. I am here in a parking lot with David Vindisol. Hi. And we are going to test that out. But before we do that, let's go back to the studio with Drew and show you guys how to do the mod. Ooh, all right. And then we're going to come back to this parking lot and we're going to do range tests and see if, like, how well it works. See you in a bit. You guys have been sending me this RC Group's thread. I've received like 15 emails about this today. So I am, it's 11 o'clock at night and me and Drew are making this video to document this. How to enable DJI FPV goggles 1000 slash 1200 milliwatt high power mode. Here's, here's apparently the deal. We're gonna find out if this is true. Apparently the DJI goggles max output power is not 700 milliwatts. It has secretly internally had the ability to unlock 1000, one watt and 1200 milliwatts and that's a lot more milliwatts and will give you more range. So here's the beautiful thing about it. Do you have to flash firmware? No. Do you have to, all you have to do, this is literally all you have to do is make a text file with a certain string in it and put it on an SD card and insert the SD card into your goggles. That is it. You don't have to, that's just it. It just unlocks it. So we're going to try this and we're going to see if it works and let's do it. All right. This is the SD card with the magical illegal file. Is it illegal? What? Uh, DJI has not authorized. Well, this. there's there's two there's two versions. Did you know this? No. Okay, so there's two there's two options. Okay. One there's and in the text file there's two different numbers you can put. Okay. Keeping this vague, one number unlocks a thousand milliwatts. That's legal. That's in technically the US. legal in the for FCC. Oh yeah, that makes sense. I'm the wrong. other number. 1200, unlocks 1200 which is over the which is technically over the limit so i'm gonna need a battery here we go battery mm -hmm. we're gonna plug this in and the goggle i mean it won't do anything right we just plug the quad in right um these goggles are not bound to this quad <laughs> these are my spectator goggles okay hold on i got sharpie pointy well, let me just because look how easy it is to bind Things you just poke that and poke the other thing, you poke all the things. You just simply, I mean, it is very easy, it's just a pain that you need to have a sharpie enough, pointy enough poker. Poke. It shouldn't be sharp, should it? It, should be... <gasps> it shouldn't be sharp, is what I said. <laughs> Sharp, it should be. I, I use that every time. That's this is what I've always used. I just smoke that air unit. <laughs> I legit just smoke that air unit. I think it's fine. I bet you it's fine. Did you see how much fire came out of it? Get <laughs> me a paper clip. I bet you it's fine. Get me a paper clip. You know why I don't have paper clips? Because it's 2019. I'm not putting that thing back in there. Let me do it. No! <laughs> I bet you it's fine. I, I don't know. Let, get me a paper clip. Oh, I don't have a paper clip. Like, I don't know what to tell you. I don't have anything else. That's what I use. But no. now I think I might not use that anymore. I'm kind of scared to use this. <laughs> I mean, on mine. On yours, maybe we could use it one more time. Let's see what I've got in my... Why don't you have paper clips? I am Mr. not. I have paper clips at home. Oh, so you don't really know at all. Give me your tweezer. Oh, give me your tweezer. Where's your tweezer? Where's your tweezer? Um. Tweezer. No, that what, that tweezer. No, I love that tweezer. Where's your? Where's your? No, re, uh, no okay. reason. No reason. Where's your diagonal cutter? Are you gonna cut it? Okay, I deserve this. <laughs> I actually, I like those cutters more. I feel worse for the cutters. Okay. <laughs> I am. I cannot believe that just happened. I also, like I said, cannot believe that just happened either. Okay. Kind of feel like I want to take the props off now. <laughs> that was very unexpected. Look, wait, hold on. Is it still green LED? Red. Wait for it. Wait for it. Go green. Uh, okay, you got it. If it survived, that's a testament to something. 
<laughs> That's fucking crazy. It is working. That is crazy. It is working. That is crazy. I would not have believed it if it did wasn't doctor. Did you get that? Yeah, yes. Fire, literally. Fire. I mean, you got your clickbait title, or I do, because I'm filming on my phone. Maybe you're not getting this footage. You know that DJI will not let you. you would, they would do not want you to post this. They said we could do whatever we want. Yeah, but you're documenting the hack. Did they not want you to document the hack? Okay, here we go. It. Here we go. Get in there. Get the phone in there. Max power. Okay, can you get it? Yeah, you got it. Okay, ready? Uh-huh. Okay, so this is gonna measure the RF energy just through this antenna, and we'll be able to see if the output power increases. Because it's measuring coming from the antenna, it's not gonna read like 700 milliwatts. We're gonna lose energy, but we'll be able to at least see if it goes up, so. If it's digital, we should actually be in peak mode, I okay. think. I think that's the right thing to do. Because digital signals are bursty. Okay, so we also have 200 and 500 milliwatts as well, if we care about that. So right now it's at 25. It's at 25. The max power is 25. What's yeah. it reading? Isn't like 400. No, that's micro. Look, it's oh, micro. Oh, okay. So okay. it's basically reading zero. Okay. All right, so whatever. I wonder if I need to... Just go to 700. So I'm going up to 700. Oh, okay. Now doing? we're at 1.3 milliwatt. I'll bet if I walk further away... Hang on. I'm taking it up to 1,200. Oh, now it's at two. Oh, it changed. Yeah. So, and I I'll mean... bet if I walk further away... It will, yeah. like... But, I mean, lot. we saw it... So, know, the point is, the hack did something. Yes, I agree. The hack did something. Sounds right. Now, you're going to be in audience mode, so your range is going to be just a little worse than mine. All right. Because my goggles can request retransmissions, and yours can't. Oh, but okay. But it'll still be just nice having someone to keep me company. Yeah, sure. All right, so on 25 milliwatts, I'm sure it's going to just tank out, but we're going to give it a fair chance. I'm just going to fly around the side of the building, yeah. and then I'm going to make a left and go around the back of the building. I'm going to try and stay low and fly as consistent as possible, mm -hmm. but, you know, obviously this is not a lab test. I'll stay below the roof line, though. Okay, yeah, I'm getting a little break up. Uh, see, I'm still perfectly clear. Really? Yeah. Wow. Now I'm starting to see a little bit of pixelation. Wow, I can't, I mean, I'm I would try, never be able I'm, to fly this. I'm down to two bars now, but I can still see pretty okay. well. I'm getting good. Three bars, I'm up to three bars. As we come through here, it's going to start, like, I'm going to, oh, I, there you go. Oh, yep. Yep. It just froze up. Yeah. And I've completely lost it. So you're doing crossfire Correct. and the DJI goggles. Correct. So why don't you be flying the controller? I'll tell you what. Because if you have any quads that don't have DJI on them, mm -hmm. then you'd need this anyway. Yeah. So you may as well just put all your quads on this. Unless you're going to just put all your quads on DJI. That's my philosophy. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to carry two controllers. I'm still thinking. Right, I've got, I've got, got it. it. I've got it. Yeah, I'm good to go. I'm going to go from 25. I can go. It, so this new firmware thing also lets you, it normally goes 25, 700. That's yeah. it. You can go 25, 200, 500, 700. But we're not going to do that. We're going to go straight to 700. So what settings are you running on the goggles? What do you mean? Uh, so you're doing, I see you're doing narrower, the 4.3 or? You're... you're right, I run 4.3. Um, I feel like, a, I prefer a 4.3. Well, the camera's native resolution is 4.3. Okay, so if you, go, if you go 16, no, no. If you go 16.9, it just cuts off the top and bottom. Okay. And I'm like, why would I cut off my field of view intentionally? All right. Why would I have less field of view? Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll stay below the ceiling. And we should, I mean, going to 700, we should just immediately get much further. Yeah, the video's clean for me. Yeah, completely clean for me. Oh, yeah, I got some so, blockage here. So I'm seeing a little breakup now. I'm at one bar. I'm not going to hang out in one bar. I'm going to keep moving. I think it'll open up when we come through here. And then as I go behind this next building, I think it'll break again. Is that a person getting out of that truck? I think it is. Yeah. We'll stay away from it, or maybe it isn't. Maybe it's just. Uh, it is so choppy for me. Yeah. So I'm not. I'm seeing smooth frames, but definitely a lot of pixelization. See, that wasn't a person. It nope, was, it wasn't. Or maybe it. I can see the truck. I can read the visitor. I'm at 4.5 megabits per second. It's definitely breaking up now. Signal low. Crossfire complaining at me. 
I'm at 0 0.8 megabytes. I can barely, I wouldn't fly this. So it hasn't locked out. Oh, 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 a lot of late. There we go. We're down. Down? Okay. So I didn't like lose image, but it got so choppy and pixelated and laggy that I was just like, I don't feel safe anymore. All right. And now it's gone. But now it's gone. It's, it's, what? it's pretty it's, far. <laughs> so we it's won't, through a building. We'll take the, yeah. By the way, we were getting crossfire signal low. I'm at 250 milliwatts, but I never, my receiver antennas my, on the quad are so suboptimal. I, I sacrifice range to avoid them getting chopped on purpose. So this is not in any way a comment on the range of a crossfire system. I'm sure it could go. I mean, we are going through a whole freaking building now. Like a whole building. I'm pretty impressed. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, 12, 1,000 milliwatts. The maximum that is legally allowed. And definitely not 1,200. milliwatts as far as you know. <laughs> I really hope it goes further. I mean, I'm really nervous about this because between 700 and 1,000 milliwatts, we should notice a difference. Yes. If it doesn't go further, then... But it's not a linear uh, progression, true. though. But still, that's almost 3 dB. That's like 2 dB. Mm -hmm. yeah. it should, we should notice 2 dB, I would hope. I would hope so, yeah. If we don't... Hey, that's science, man. It doesn't always come out like you expect. That's the beauty of science. In some ways, the most boring kind of science is the kind where you get the expected results. Yeah, that's very true. There we go. So this should be fine. I'm pretty clean here. Yeah, I'm doing better than last time. You may actually notice the difference yeah. more than me because you're in audience mode. It's uh, pretty bad. I would not fly here. Okay, I'm still feeling, this is a point where I'm like, could, would have trouble picking out a lot of fine details. I'm at one bar. It's definitely breaking up pretty bad. Yeah, I got 8 megabit uh, compared to 0 0.8 now. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting, sure. I'm still, this is not choppy yet. Ooh. No. I'm at 1.7. Okay, I'm making the turn. It's coming back. It's coming back. <gasps> what the heck? Oh my god. That's a, what? I'm coming back. I made it around. Yeah. I made it around. It's back. It's clean. It's crisp. It's beautiful. I'm coming home. I made it all the way around. Oh. <gasps> okay. Wow, that's a result. That's a result. It got bad. It got, but it never got so choppy that I didn't feel in control. And as soon as I got through the bad part, it came right back. That's pretty amazing. Uh, I mean, you flew through that. I know. I'm so excited. Uh, yeah. Oh, this is awesome. the future. <laughs> hey, Drew. David says this is the future. Future. All right, David. Yeah. I'm psyched. Thanks. We got a result. Yeah. Unexpected, well, I'd say. I didn't expect it to make it all the way around. I mean, I feel like we definitely showed that there's an improvement when you go to the increased output power. Yes. So what's the downside? It has to be a downside. Increased heat buildup. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to be on the ground too yeah. much. We don't know that it's actually rated for this output. We could mm -hmm. be damaging it. But who made the modification? Well, DJI has obviously built in to the module the ability to do this. Yeah. But then they didn't release it to the customers. Maybe that's because they found that it was like it caused the units to go bad at a higher rate or something we don't know. Yep. So, at your own risk. Definitely. Um, you know what? There's one more thing we should do. What? An analog. <laughs> Ooh, We should do the same yes. thing on analog. Yes. Heck yeah. I mean, then this would be a great result. What's the highest output you have on, a, on your analog? I'm pretty sure I have a TBS Unify that goes to 800. Okay, let's do that. So I don't have one that goes to one watt. Although a lot of one watt video transmitters don't actually go to one watt, no. so. All right, so we're, this is a uh, TBS Unify, 800 milliwatts. Okay. That's, and, and the astute among you will notice I have a patch antenna on here. I didn't have a patch on the DJIs, which is not scientific. Mm, no. The real reason for that is that that's just. The real life condition. That's so. it. 
I was about to say that's just what I happen to have with me at the moment, and this is. But real life, a lot of DJI pilots are not going to shell out one hundred and forty dollars for a new set of antennas. Because they're like, well, the like the axes, the Lumineer axes are twenty yeah. bucks a piece, and oh, you need wow. six of them. Six. Four for the goggles, two for the quad. All right. Yeah. Okay. So wow. let. The point is not to like test the equipment to the edges of its possible limits, but just to say, oh, isn't that interesting? How do they stack up? Now, this is a 9 dB, I think. Okay, yeah, that's quite that a lot more. Sh that should make up the difference. Yeah. Technically. It should. That's a lot more. Yeah, we have like 2 or 3 dB of output power. Here we go. We'll find out. I'm so psyched, actually. I'm really psyched. I love doing this kind of stuff. The color in the OLEDs on these HDO2s. I'm sorry, DJI. Oh, is these, it that good? It's so much. It's bright. It's colorful. It's saturated. Oh, DJI, make an OLED goggle, please. Like, the DJI is HD, and mm. so obviously that's better, but this is so good. Have you tried uh, so this, tuning the colors and stuff in the DJI? No, no, I just got a uh, yeah, little... Oh, 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 no. Nope, did you, nope. I, okay, I'm back. Wait, I got it. I got to just move my head. I got about halfway. No, I'm not going to... Hang on. This is... No, no, I can't fly this. Okay, cool. there you go. That's the end of this video. How about that? Thank you, David. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope David you learned something today. came all the way from Sweden just to do this with me. So David's <laughs> got to go now. Back to the airport. Um. <laughs>